Okay, we're going to dive into Life Doesn't Frighten You by Maya Angelou and analyze the imagery and the symbolism in it. I'm going to read it really quickly first because I think you should always read it at least twice before you start analyzing, uh, but hopefully you have already read this once before. Shadows on the wall, noises down the hall. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Bad dogs barking loud, big ghosts in a cloud. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Mean old mother goose, lions on the loose. They don't frighten me at all. I go boo, make them shoot. I make fun, way they run. I won't cry, so they fly. I just smile, they go wild. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Tough guys fight all alone at night. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Panthers in the park, strangers in the dark. No, they don't frighten me at all. That new classroom where boys fall pull my hair, kissy little girls with their hair in curls. They don't frighten me at all. I don't, or don't show me frogs and snakes and listen for my scream. If I'm afraid at all, it's only in my dreams. I've got a magic charm that I keep up my sleeve. I can walk the ocean floor and never have to breathe. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Not at all. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Okay, let's take a look at the imagery. This one is full of imagery. Literally, shadows on the wall. You can see them. Noises down the hall. We have sound here. Sight here. We can hear the dogs barking. We can see ghosts. We can see lions. We might be able to see and feel the flames of the dragons. This is sound and actually saying something. I go boo. Um, you can see them run away. I won't cry. That's a feeling. You can feel the tears. But you're not crying in this, okay? Because life doesn't frighten you at all. Um, let's see what else. Uh, you can see pretty much, there's a lot of sight. Pulling my hair is feeling it, right? Let's see what else. Don't show me, literally show me frogs and snakes. Listen for my screen sound. Up my sleeve, you might, or I can walk the ocean floor, you might be able to feel or see. So this one is full of imagery that you can imagine and you could draw a picture for each of these stanzas because the, her word choice, Maya Angelou's word choice is so vivid and strong. Now symbolism, let's see, shadows are dark, those might represent fears, right? Shadows might represent fears. Um, let's see what else we have. Strangers in the dark, mysteries. A classroom could represent knowledge. She's learning that she doesn't have to be frightened by these people. And those are all the symbols I see in there. You might be able to find some more, but those are all of them that I found in my uh, first couple of readings. I hope that helped. If you have any questions, please let me know.